Hi everyone, I am Dharam Sri Rabari. I work as an assistant professor of chemical engineering at Ahmedabad University. I teach various courses on thermodynamics and process simulation. In this channel, I am going to cover different concepts of chemical engineering thermodynamics. In my experience, students like basic thermodynamics. They are good at several concepts like first law, second law, heat engine, Carnot cycle, refrigeration cycle. But when we talk about equilibrium thermodynamics, when we talk about solution thermodynamics, there is a decline in students' interest. In my opinion, students study mathematical stuff without knowing its applications. Students are confused. Why do they study a particular concept? They've also faced difficulties in answering any conceptual question. I have tried to resolve this issue by maintaining a balance between mathematical stuff and its applications. The first chapter of this course is thermodynamic properties of pure fluids. Let's start with one motivational example. I have considered this problem from basic thermodynamics. We have not studied any concept of chemical engineering thermodynamics, but you can easily solve this problem. Saturated steam at 50 kilopascal is compressed adiabatically to 600 kilopascal. What will be the temperature of exhaust steam if it is a reversible process? This is a compressor. Inlet pressure is 50, outlet pressure is 600 kilopascal, and we want to calculate outlet temperature. Okay. We know adiabatic plus reversible. That type of process is known as isentropic process. Isentropic process means the entropy is constant. The entropy is not going to change. So I can write here S1 and S2. Both will be same for inlet stream as well as for outlet stream. Other thing is inlet steam, that is the saturated steam. Now the pressure is given that is 50 kilopascal and this much pressure, if I am able to know the value of this entropy, then I can denote this entropy with this one because both are equal. Okay, from saturated steam driven, If you find any row or column for 50 kilopascal, then you can easily get the value of entropy. I have one steam table in which there is no any column or row for this 50 kilopascal. So the other option is I can consider lower pressure and higher pressure than this one. I can take those values then I can apply linear interpolation to calculate entropy at this specific pressure. Okay, so the data available with me are P1 equal to 49.31 kilopascal S1 at that much pressure, the entropy is 7.5995. P2 that is 51.33 kilopascal S2 is 7.5888. I want to calculate S1 between this range because pressure range is given 49 and 51. Our pressure is 50 kilopascal. I can use linear interpolation. Do you remember the equation of linear interpolation? Yes, x minus x1 and here it will become y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Let me explain the equation. 
I want to calculate the value of my at given x and x1, y1 is the lower limit of variables x2, y2 that is the upper limit of variables here at given x means at given pressure that is 50 kilopascal I want to calculate y that is entropy s1 st I'm sorry I should write in this way S in, S out. So I want to calculate S in using this equation. That is why at X1, Y1, that is the this, the upper lower one, and this is the higher one. If I insert all these values in this equation, then ultimate equation would be S in equal to S1 plus X, X, that is the P in minus X1, our X is pressure P1, Y2 minus Y1, the variable this one, S2 minus S1, and upon P2 minus P1. So we can insert all these values, S1, P in, P1, S2, S1, P2, P1, and the inlet entropy is 7.59 for a kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Now, since this is an isentropic process, so this is equal to S out. Okay, this is equal to S out. Now, I want to calculate S out here, but I want to calculate outlet temperature. I can use superheated steam table because P out is given 600 kilopascal. S out is also we have calculated that is 7.5948 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. I want to calculate T out. So if you refer Superheated steam table, you remember that at specific pressure, there will be various values of temperature and various values of entropy, various values of enthalpy, internal energy. But in superheated steam table at specific pressure, there will be different temperature. Okay, so I want to calculate this part from these two values. What we have to do, we have to refer superheated steam table, find out column or row in which it is written 600 kilopascal, and that will be various values of entropy, target to get this value somewhere. And if you are able to find the exact value, then you can consider the temperature at which this is the entropy value that will be T out. But in superheated steam table also, I am not able to find this exact value. I can get different value lower than this one and higher than this one. I am going to do again linear interpolation to calculate T out. So I need two temperature. And at the same time, two entropy. At specific temperature, what is the entropy less than this one and higher than this one? That is S2. Here I have two temperature T1 and T2. At this T1, the entropy value is this one. At T2, entropy value is this one. This is the higher one, this is the lower one. And our entropy is available between these two values. Okay, I'm going to apply linear interpolation again to calculate temperature. So here my X, that is the S1 and S2, X variable that is entropy, and I want to the variable that I want to calculate that is temperature. So what is going to happen if I apply this equation again, then temperature I want to calculate that is T out equal to T1 
plus x. x is our entropy, but this is the value of x, given value of x for which I want to calculate y. So this is a given value of entropy for which I want to calculate temperature as out minus S1 into again y2 minus y1. So here T2 minus T1 upon S2 minus S1. When I insert all this value here, then I am getting it is 497.18 Kelvin. This is a temperature of exhaust steel. This is very simple problem. If I solve this problem using steam, that is the one thing. If I change the fluid instead of steam, if you are going to use any real gas, if you are going to use any ideal gas, then you don't have steam table. And if you don't have steam table, then you cannot calculate entropy. So what is the motivation? In any type of problem, we should have some equations, some relations among all those property, entropy and enthalpy, internal energy, Gibbs free energy with parameters like temperature, pressure, volume. If we have those types of relations, then we can easily calculate. Such equations are known as models. Models help us to solve any problem. And it also help us to check deeper insights of behavior of bigger chemicals. It also helps us to check deeper insights to of behavior of real chemicals. It means how any chemical is behaving if you change any parameter, how properties are going to change, how entropy, how enthalpy, how other properties are going to change if you change temperature or pressure or volume, then what will be the effect on property. This in these two are the applications of model. Models can be developed with rich knowledge of mathematics and we are going to recall some mathematical theories in next video. Thanks for watching this video.